Welcome, welcome everyone. It's Jessie, the Purple Diva. Today I am on two platforms. Why is this locked? How's everybody go doing? It is Motivational Monday as well as Makeup Monday. I have just started this new thing that I am doing. And my... Oh God, it is acting a fool today. Okay. Again, welcome, welcome everyone to Jesse with Jesse, the Purple Diva, hashtag the Purple Diva. So I got some new stuff going on, you guys, in the next few weeks. Something else is about to pop off. When you come on, please say hello and say hello to the Purple Diva, Jesse. So let's just hope everybody comes on and everybody. So I have some new stuff that I need to tell you guys. I started getting the supplies for my new line and that is going to be my makeup line. Okay. So I'm going to show you guys something so you can see what I got so far. Okay. So I got some white beeswax pellets and I, I said like I'm, I'm going to be on here and I'm going to be on my YouTube channel because it's my YouTube channel as well. So there goes the white natural pellets. And I have a list that I have to put together, or I've put together, when it comes down to making my own lip gloss, makeup, and all that other stuff. So, I also have the colors, the different colors that I'm going to be using. You guys, this is going to be the bomb, you guys. These are the Dibble Dabble. From Amazon, there's the different colors of pigments. And y'all know that I love purple. Okay. And I'm going to be using purple. I'm going to be using this blue. And this one is called Dibble Dabble Indigo. Okay. Then I got the lavender. Okay. And I'm going to be mixing some of these together. Because I have a whole lot of different ones. Oh, there's, there's, here is Sugar Plum. And my line is going to be right now. My line is going to be all purple. As we speak. And I got some other colors that I'm going to use. And I'm going to use them in, as, as I go. But my first batch of makeup. Or my first batch of lip gloss is going to be either the Purple Plum. Or the lavender okay and I'm just gonna use this so you guys can see when I go ahead and make it but yes I'm excited totally excited you guys you just don't know how excited I am <laughs> okay so what else oh I also got my little tubes as you guys can see And Monday, well, next, uh, the next two weeks, I'm going to start putting out my line again. Or my line, period. <laughs> Not again, because I would have been doing it more than enough. But I'm starting off small to see how the momentum goes and how it starts, it starts off. But I see a lot of people doing it, so this is going to be fun. And this is going to be for fun, actually, also. Hope everybody's having a great Monday, motivational Monday. Decided to go on for a little bit. Because I have other things that I have to do, of course. So I have my containers in here, my lip gloss containers here, and these are the the tops. So I'm gonna show you guys what it is that it go, how it goes. And so here you have the, oh, there it goes. Oh, there goes another one. Get out, get out, get out. Hold on, hold on, get out before you wrap it up. 
Act like you won't know it's done. Okay. So, I'm over here trying to grab one, and I got like two of them. Okay? So, I have all three pieces in here. So, we're going to take the container. We're going to put the top on it. And, of course, I have been collecting all of my supplies. Because I, I know that this coronavirus stuff is getting to the point where, you know, you can't order stuff online no more. That's the top of it. The lip gloss part. And then they got the top. Okay. And that is the container, the whole container for the lip gloss. Okay. So that's the first one. Then you have the colors. You got purple plum there. Then I got lavender here. As you guys can see. And then I have the essential oils that go inside of the, the lip gloss itself. Vitamin E. And then I have almond oil as well. Almond oil and vitamin E. I also got the dispensers to put in uh, mix up with the syringe. Because you have to put the stuff in a syringe to be able to mix it all up. And for it not to come out, okay? So you got a syringe. It's like at the doctor's office. Oh, there it is. Comes with a syringe. And what you're going to do is, you take the syringe. And since it's so thick on the top, you don't worry about that. Okay? You take your dispenser. I'm gonna take it down. And they're um they're this you can just throw them out after you use them. Some people I've seen that some people have used the same ones, but they disinfect them as best as they can and they continue to use the same one. So I take a dispenser here. You see this right here, and I'm gonna cut it on the very top because what's gonna happen is that you're gonna stick this into here. Okay, I'm gonna let me cut this out so I can show you. And take your scissor, take that dispenser, take your scissor, and cut the very top of it. I'm gonna cut it just as much as I can. And you're gonna take your dispenser and you're gonna stick it on the very top. This is how long it should be because what's gonna happen is. You're going to take your dispenser and you're going to stick it inside the little tube and you're going to stick this in there and you're going to syringe the lip gloss inside of it. Okay? And then what you're going to do is you're going to stick it all in there and it should go right in here. But what you don't want to do is you don't want to fill it up to the top because you need to have air. Because if you put the, to the top on there, it's going to end up squeezing it all out. Okay? But I'm going to go into detail with more of it in a minute because I'm about to start making some. And everything has its own measurements. Okay? So natural do-it-yourself makeup, the way I'm going to do it, is a one tablespoon of almond oil, two tablespoons of beeswax, and one a half to three-fourths tablespoon of chem, uh, chameleon color red mica pigment. But you can use whatever pigment you want. And right now, I'm going to use my lavender. And I'm going to use my purple plum. And if you guys have suggestions on the colors that you like as a lip gloss, let me know in the comments below. I'm going to say hello right now as we speak. Because I know that people are on. Keep going, okay? And so I also purchased, um, I'll tell you now. Oh, I have to show you. I have to show you, Okay. I also purchased my Vera gel from TKB. Okay, this is lip gloss um, foundation, basically. I need to get up on this chair. Uh, I also got my scale. I also bought a scale. I got two of them, actually, but I don't, I don't you're only using one. Okay. 
So I'm gonna show you guys. I'm gonna stand up because it's better from my back. And I'm gonna show you guys how I'm making my own lip gloss. Oh Lord, here we go. And you're also gonna wanna get like uh, bowls or plates, plastic bowls, plastic plates, or um, and spoons to mix because all of that stuff needs to be mixed. So I'm gonna show you guys right now what I'm doing as I'm doing it. And I'm also on my YouTube channel so I'm going to show you guys in a minute. Let me go get this stuff. Hold on. You're not going back outside, man. I'm back you guys okay so I have two containers clean containers okay so you want to try to get them from the dollar store you can get it from the dollar store but I'm gonna mix two different containers with my lip gloss and every and all the ingredients and I'm using two different oils as well. So it's calls for a tablespoon of almond oil. And the reason why I have two different containers is because it's two different colors. Okay. So I'm gonna use. I wonder if this is gonna open. I don't think it is. Oh yes, it is. Okay. So what we're gonna do is we're going to measure one tablespoon of almond oil. Mm. Oh, and also this has to be put in the the pot so you can melt it because it's, it's 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 hard. And this is all for. Oh, this smells nice. Um, this is definitely beeswax is natural for lip gloss. Okay, for lip gloss, um, it's got vitamin E and. You can use it for um, different things like do-yourself lotions, body butter, lip balm, sunscreen, solves, and more, okay? So you can use this one for that. But I think I'm just going to go ahead and use the uh, almond oil. And I'm going to use the almond oil. And I use that for something else that I'm gonna about to use. So what you're wanting to do is... I got this 5.5 ounce of TKB, 5.5 ounce of TKB. You want to open it, and it's it's open. So another thing that I didn't get was, and let me get it now because I know that I'm gonna end up using them. I'm gonna take my gloves because you need gloves, of course. And one thing I don't have that you need is a mask. Okay, is a mask, but I don't have a mask. And this is crazy because I would definitely need something to cover my face with. I'm trying to figure out what though. You're just shaking on the floor, huh? So. <laughs> you want to try to get all of your.
all of it out of the contain this con this plastic container. Try to get it out as much as possible. I've been using all my masks for um coronavirus while I'm out. So that's another reason why I haven't been able to use it. All right, so that's one. So the consistency is like this. You're going to take your spoon and you're going to move it around. I move mine around, so this is what it's supposed to look like. Okay. And what you want to do is take your oil. You're going to take a little oil. I say one, two, three, four, five drops of the almond oil. And then you're going to take vitamin E oil. And you're going to disperse that into five. I got five drops of the essential oil, five drops of the almond oil, okay? And now we're going to incorporate Let's go ahead and incorporate the lavender into the mix, okay? And it is a messy process, but once it's done, Oh my gosh, this glare is killing me right now. All right. I'm just going to show it like that, okay? So now what we're going to do is we're going to mix up the ingredients. Make sure you get it all combined. Make sure you get every single thing mixed up. Check it out. I know you guys can see it, right? Look at how pretty the color is. Look at how pretty that is, y'all. Ah. You want to put some more oil in there. So you take some more to make it a little bit more... You want to make it as um as runny as possible. And this is my first time making lip gloss, so I'm just letting y'all know. Want to mix it up as best as you can. This is an awesome color. I love this. This is so pretty. And this is my very own lip gloss. And you can even put some flavoring in it too. And I think I'm going to get some flavoring now. Give me a minute. Let me take this off. I don't want to get nothing on it. <laughs> Put this on here right now. What up? You didn't go outside again? You didn't go outside again? You're crazy. So, another thing that you guys can use is Lorraine's flavor, and that's what I'm using right now. I'm going to put a few drops of lemon in there. 
So I just made my own, my very own lemon flavor lip gloss. Okay. Oh, it smells so good. <laughs> it smells so awesome. Okay. Go back to your gloves. Make sure that everything is incorporated. You want to mix it as well as possible. Oh, and it's mixing well, too. See the color? It is awesome, you guys. Check that out. It's too pretty. Hey, stop fighting, you guys. Good God on me. Like kids. See how it comes out? And one thing that I don't see people do is when you're doing these kind of things is while you're preparing it, you don't put it on. So we don't know if you know, you know, if you're doing it yourself. But I'm going to put on some myself. I'm going to make some myself. Okay. So now what you're going to do is you're going to take your tube, the tube that we made already, that I show you how to do, put it together. I'm going to take that out, put it somewhere, put it on top of the table somewhere. You're going to take some of this lip gloss mixture. And the reason why you want to go ahead and start slow is because it gets messy. Okay? And it is going to get messy, and it's going to get messy. But what you want to do is make it as clean as possible as well. And I'm only going to put a little bit in there so you guys can see what I'm talking about. Take as much as you can, put it in there, and the consistency can come out either way. It can come out hard and it can come out soft, but I'm just showing you guys the basic, because you can do so much with this stuff, it's not even funny. Take it and... Continue to put it in there. It's a very messy, messy, messy process. But I'm going to get it together because I'm going to incorporate it into my event planning business, Byron Affairs, LLC. It is automatically an LLC now. <laughs> yeah, buddy. All right. And so we're going to take that. And... You're gonna, it's gonna get messy, so you know, you see that it's gonna get messy, it's gonna get on your hands, okay? So, now what you're doing is see, you see the syringe, you see the syringe, right? Okay, you're gonna take your container, you're gonna put this down, you're gonna take a container, a clean container at that, you're gonna stick a container in here. It's like chemistry class, you guys, it's like chemistry class, okay? You're gonna take the syringe. And you're going to distribute the lip gloss inside. As y'all guys can see, it's going right in. You want to pack it into the sides. And you're going to you're gonna continue to do it until it's filled. And I don't want to cover it, but it's covering. It's not letting it out. Continue to pop, push it out. And I've seen that other people have had a hard time with it because I guess it's because they put too much. They don't um, move it around a lot. Oh, guys. Oh, that smells good. <laughs> All right, I'm going to put that down and I'm going to fill it up again. And people do do it where they fill up the whole entire thing, but it is a messy process, so it's going to be messy, okay? So if you don't like getting messy, don't get into it. <laughs> okay, let's continue putting it in there. And it's, this one's a thick consistency, but again, like I said, this is my first time. 
And once I get it down pat, it's going to be over, y'all. <laughs> Continue to push it down. There you go. It makes that sound. And this one is going to be named Lavender Lemon. So this will be my line with the lip gloss. And I'm starting it off. So... I'm going to try to put as much as possible on this one. This one's called Lavender Lemon. All right. So let's finish off this my my very first tube <laughs> my very first tube y'all <laughs> of lip gloss all right so it's coming to the end now where you don't want to fill it up all the way to the top because remember it's going to get messy when you put the stuff you know you put the top on top Okay, so now we take the top piece here. Oh gosh. And you're gonna take that piece and you're gonna put it on the very top. And that's what's gonna seal the lip gloss. Okay. So there it is. I'm sealing the lip gloss. Now, the top. And I'm not going to put my name on it yet because I already got the name. I already got the logo. I got everything now. So that is my very, let me clean it off. Let me get a, a towel. <clears throat> Oh my gosh, this is awesome. Oh, wow. So, just want to say that this is my very own lip gloss. Lavender Lemon is the name. Lavender Lemon is the name, you guys. My very first lip gloss, and it is mine, my very own. So now I'm going to try it on. So you guys can see that I'm trying my own product out. <laughs> okay. I just want to clean it off a little bit more. Let me go ahead and go get some uh, clean. Oh, I got bleach wipes. Yay. Always have a pair of bleach wipes. <laughs> clean it off. Clean it off. Oh, my God. It matches my, sh my nails. Okay. Let me go ahead and get smudging. Okay, so now I show you guys my very own lip gloss. And I'm pushing it out. And it's out, look. My very own lip gloss, y'all. And I'm putting it on. And there it is. My very own lip gloss line, you guys. And I'm going to show you guys on my YouTube channel so you guys can see that I'm putting it on. And these are all natural, all natural ingredients. Nothing that you don't know about. And I got my own lip gloss, y'all. My own lip gloss, okay? 
So, with that being said, I'm going to continue to make these my very own. Okay. These are going to be, from now, they're going to start at $5. Okay, this is going to be lavender lemon. So if you guys like the lavender, you guys are going to get the lavender lemon, okay? But I also got some other twists coming up. So, stay tuned. Thank you for watching my Makeup Monday. I'm making my very first lip gloss. Ooh! And Hey Beauty My Nails. My beautiful nails. I thank you guys for watching. Y'all have a blessed day. And I will see you again next Monday. Bye, guys.